Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and we're continuing a little bit of a series on the chameleon antenna. Now, I will tell you right up front that they sent this to me, but I have to send it back. So I'm not getting an antenna for free, and they're not paying to sponsor the video. We're just going to give it a review and some of the things that it can do. Because I know a number of you live in places where, uh, because of homeowners associations or apartment buildings or something like that, it's very difficult to put up an antenna. In our last video, we put together the basic loop configuration of the F-Series uh, mag loop and did an on-the-air uh, FT8 signal with the loop sitting right um, on my desk. Now, we're going to add a little something to this here. Okay? <clears throat> you note the loop coming up here, but there is a crossover down here at the bottom. So we've got a double loop and the crossover at the bottom. And the reason I put the tape over it is because these two things are hot. And we don't want the uh, barrel connector touching any of those. So I put some tape over it and kind of pulled it up out of the way. Now, the way uh, this thing works is just that it has an extra loop in it, which gives it um, its high Q resonance is down lower. Now, a couple things to say about this. First of all, this multiple loop configuration is very common in Europe. It is now new with Chameleon in the United States. Uh, this double loop, this allows you to get down to, to 106, or, or rather to 80. Now, if we look at this screen right here, if we notice the loop, I'm going to tune the loop up. And you note that the pass band of the loop is going up the 80 meter band. This is the area where you have the highest noise, okay? And you can cover the entire 80 meter band, meaning you can put it on any frequency you desire in the 80 meter band. But that does not mean that uh, you are going to get uh, the whole band, just the one little narrow part that's being tuned in. Now, this green line there is the FT8 frequency for 80 meters. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on tune. Okay, and now we're going to look down here at SWR. And we're going to adjust this for best tune. Now, one of the problems is everything affects everything. And just having the camera in there affects the SWR. But we can get very low SWR right there. Okay. All right. Now, we are tuned to FT8. To the FT8 frequency right here. Okay. And uh, we're just going to go 80 and go on to that again. Okay, now here we see some CQs and so on coming in. This guy seems to be calling. So I called a guy here who had been calling CQ. We'll see if he's still there. Band isn't terribly active this morning. The red tells you that the transmitter is transmitting. It's on 5 watts. Okay, now we're not transmitting. Okay, we're receiving. And let's see if we receive anything. Transmitting again, trying. Okay, I think I'm going to disable the transmitter. And we'll try something else. Okay. It's 20 meters. We're not getting anything on 80 meters. There's nothing going on in the band right now. Okay, there's, if we look over here, there's nothing going on in the band. But 
um, we do have the ability to receive and send on 80 meters with this. And you can see that this will go up and we would have to put, uh, let's try 40. Okay, this antenna with the double loop clearly works on 40 meters. Okay. Now let's, I'm just kind of curious. It worked on 80. Let's see what we can get. Okay. We're going to take this all the way the other way. But we get nothing on 160. So this will give you, see the switch position. This is critical, 80 through 40 here. 30 through 10 here. But this double loop is designed to work on the lower frequencies. And we show that it does, although there's no band activity right now on FT8. Okay, which is normal. So there you have it. Uh, we This finishes our look at the basic antenna, uh, which has the double loop. It can do 80 quite well, all the way across 80. It can also do 40 quite well, making sure to get the switch in the correct uh, position. So, it's a nice little antenna. Do I advise getting one? Well, this is the first American multi-loop antenna that I am aware of. Okay, now this maxes out at 25 watts. If you get the little power adapter, it goes a little bit higher. I do have the power adapter. I will show you a uh, a video of, of how to use that. So, in short, yes, it does work. Yes, this would be a good antenna to take with you for a POTA. The key thing is you've got to have your hand right here close to the tuner. So you have to have the antenna right next to you. Now the way I have the antenna right now, the direction of radiation goes out and we're actually looking at a deep null right here. So this is the best place to be. Also, if you operate only five watts, then you're not going to be uh, overdriving anything. They've got a, a pretty good size capacitor in here. And if you put too much power in, it will arc over the capacitor. Um, it's a unity gain antenna, okay? There's no more gain than a dipole. In fact, it performs very well compared to a dipole. So this can be used indoors. It can be used uh, outdoors like in a POTA situation or field day or whatever you like. Uh, as people who have very severe antenna restrictions, something like this can really help you to have an antenna that can get out. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.